Hokey dokey. In this problem, they give us a bunch of information regarding a cell, a membrane, and concentration inside and outside the cell. Um, it's a very particular problem. They ask, what is the value of K in the equation for fixed law? Fixed law, the one we will be using, looks like this. So we have the differential equation, dn over dt equals k times the area where i say surface or er, where i say area i mean surface area divided by thickness times the change in concentration this triangle is like delta uh, delta c delta concentration means the change in concentration from the outside to the inside so what we'll do first is let's set up the differential equation and see if we can solve it K we do not know. That's what we are eventually looking for. Surface area is given as 4 times 10 to the negative 9. And the thickness is the membrane thickness, the cell membrane thickness. So we have 5 times 10 to the negative 9. And now the delta C, the change in concentration from outside to inside. What do they tell us? They say that the concentration outside the cell is 1.1. So 1.1 is our concentration outside. We want to subtract whatever the concentration is on the inside. However, they tell us that the concentration inside the cell is something at one point, and then it changes to something else at a later point. And so because this concentration is changing inside the cell, we will have to represent it as N. In other words, N overall, uh, the solution we will find should be an equation representing the change of concentration, or it should represent the concentration in general of the inside of the cell. All right, so let's talk about what we can do here first before trying to solve the differential equation. We have 10 to the negative 9 over 10 to the negative 9. These can cancel, leaving us really with just 4 fifths. So that's a much easier value to deal with here. So we just have k times 4 fifths times 1.1 minus n. So now what we can do is separate the variables. So we're going to get the n terms on the left side because the dn is on top so it acts very much like our dy we usually see. So what we're going to do instead of multiplying by 1 over y like we usually do, we'll essentially multiply by 1 over 1.1 minus n on both sides while simultaneously multiplying the dt to the right side. So on the right side we have 4 fifths k dt. And so we've divided this 1.1 minus n to the left side, giving us this, and then multiplied the dt to the right side. Now, same process as always, we want to integrate both sides. Let's start with something more familiar. 4.5, or sorry, 4 over 5 k is just a constant. So 4.5 k Sorry, 4 over 5k is just a constant, so the integral of a constant is just that constant times t. We want to add our plus c on this side. Now let's talk about this side. It still will actually use the natural log situation, but in I think all these cases for this problem, you can assume that it's going to be a negative natural log. And let's briefly see if we can talk about why. So... If we represented this using u substitution, our u would be the 1.1 minus n, which makes our du, our derivative of this, negative 1, dt, I suppose, or I guess in this case, dn. And so we would solve for du by dividing by negative 1, or we'd solve for dn by dividing by negative 1. And then if we rewrote this integral, it would be 1 over u, and then dn is replaced with du over negative 1. So basically we have 1 over negative 1 gives us negative 1 over u. So negative 1 over u leads to negative ln of u, but then our u is just 
1.1 minus n. And so in all these situations where we have just 1.1 or 1 point something minus n in the bottom, it goes to negative ln of absolute value of 1.1 minus n. All right. So now, what else do they give us? They tell us that the initial concentration, the initial value, n of 0 is 0.7. That means when t is 0, n is 0.7. So let's, what we'll do is something a little different than usual. We are going to, actually, now nah, we're going to get, let's get n by itself first. So what we're going to do is negate both sides. Divide by negative 1 to get this ln of 1.1 minus n by itself, so negating everything over here, call this minus c, and then we will take e and make it the base of both sides. Um, so what I'll do is we'll have 1.1 minus n. I'll really, because we negated c, but c was just a constant, I'll just say that was just plus another constant c, right? And then from here, what I'll do is if we have E to all this, we can jump to the point where we just have C times E to the negative 4 fifths K T. So in taking E, raising it to this, I've simplified it to this. Okay. So now we want to get N by itself. So how we'll do this is I will go ahead and just subtract and we'll do it like that. So we'll subtract 1.1. So we'll get C E to the negative 4 fifths K T minus 1 point, <clears throat> excuse me, minus 1.1. And we'll go ahead and divide by a negative, negative 1. So dividing by a negative would negate this C out in front and switch this 1.1 to a positive. So this should be our function N. Now let's evaluate our initial value problem. We have t equals 0, n equals 0.7. So when n equals 0.7, we have negative c e to the negative 4 fifths k times 0. So this whole exponent times 0 will just go to 0. e to the 0 is just 1. So negative c times 1 is just negative c. We want to solve for c. So I'll subtract 1.1. We get negative 0.4 equals negative c. And we divide by a negative 1 to get c is 0.4. So going back to where we actually had our general solution here, we'll plug in 0.4. in place of c. Now, what's the last thing we need? We need the next value of the concentration corresponding to that time value of 0.5. So n equals 0.98 when t equals 0.5. So we will plug these values into this equation. So n equals 0.98. Equals, equals negative 0.4 e to the negative 4 fifths k times t, but t in this case is 0.5. And then we have the plus 1.1 on the end there. So let's go ahead and start by subtracting 1.1. Again, our goal is to solve for this k. Hopefully once we have this k, we will be done. So subtracting 1.1, let me make sure I do this with Desmos to not mess it up. Point 0.98 minus 1.1 gives us negative 0.12 equals all this. So I'm going to just jump to, here, I'll just rewrite it up here. So let's divide now by negative 0.4. That'll get rid of it here, and then 
dividing by 0.4 here gives us 0.3, but they're both negative, so it becomes positive 0.3 equals this E term. We take the ln of both sides to eliminate the E. So we'll have ln of 0.3 equals E, or sorry, equals just what was left in the exponent of E. So we have all this. So if we divide by 0.5, we'll get rid of that. And then if we divide by negative 4 fifths, in other words, multiply by negative 5 fourths, we should get k by itself. So let's see if we plug this in, if we'll have any success. Negative 5 fourths ln of 0.3 divided by 0.5. And that gives us 3.00. So hopefully k is equal to 3. Looks like option B. And we get our answer. All right. This is a super fun one. It uses ideas that we've used this whole section, uh, you know, in the more recent problems. Um, but it's just applied to a slightly weirder scenario. So I'm going to do one more video for this one. I'll try to do it a little smoother if you'd like to check it out. Uh, if you'd like more examples, I guess feel free to check that out. But I hope this helps.